my light be I spirit and by my heart be I woman by And by my hands, be I whole. Listen, there are waters hid beneath us. In a well, we'll find them still. I'll take you to them. You take your young ones. And may they take their own and turn. And by your light, be you. Spirit, and by your heart be you woman. By your eyes be you open. And by your hands be you whole. We are ones. We are the next. Do ones, and I know we'll choose it well. Though we try hard, some will fall prey to the jaded jewels. But still, by our light, be we spirits, and by our heart, be we human. By our <laughs> be we open, and by by our hands be we whole. By by our hands be we whole. By, by our hands, be we whole. Thank you.
confuse them. Tell them that you've got things to do in the stars with your hands tangling. A brilliant scheme of firelight amidst the bright spangling stars above. Tell them that you are a hero, that you have come to change the world, that you've got songs to sing and ideas to bring to life, and that chances are it ain't gonna happen. If you're too busy standing on the corner holding up the block looking for to dodge, trying to be hard, tell them that you are magnificent, that you are working with more than they ever imagined really. And it might be hard for their minds to get a grip on all that you're working with simultaneously. Tell them that you are the shine burning off the sun, the lilted gold of morning light twirling down the horizon. Say you've got the bright of day in your bones. You've got tomes of answer prayers living up in your limbs like magic to be meted out upon the needed moment. Tell them that you are working with more than money, that you've got light and love and power beyond any denomination of dollar bill. Tell them that you are the illest of the illest because you have got ideas that will change the world. And when they ask you, when they ask you who you are, say I am you. Welcome, and thank you for being here. <sighs> so, well, so we yes. seven years. seven years that we met. These two organisms seven years ago met. Two completely after, after a lifelong journeys of restless search through different spiritual paths psychedelics science art travel meditation, travel you name it yeah we tried that meditation. to feel this angst of life we were both restless yeah and burning by this desire what it to is know, to, understand. to understand we cannot help it yeah so when we met we realized we not only shared the angst to know and to understand but also we shared a uh, a passion for the teachings of Srini Sarkadatta Maharaj. Are you familiar with Srini Sarkadatta Maharaj? The book, I Am That, if you don't know, yeah. That's, that, that's the thing that connected us when we first met, has been our, it's sort of the board on which the pieces of the puzzle could rest and make sense. And it made sense for both of us as individual and as a couple. And he, um, Nisakarata always said that there are many different portals through which one can realize truth or realize ourselves or what mm -hmm. is yeah. uh, and the portals can be science can be meditation tantra, Psych yeah like psychology psychedelics uh, art music anything anything and he said just these are keys to open your door to yes. unlock the door to your understanding and for one person the key could be one thing for, for another person use those those parts of those understanding as thorn to remove a thorn don't get stuck into it. Just move on. Everything is just part of this portal, of this gateless gate, of this uh, truthless truth. And, <laughs> <laughs> yes. and he was saying very poetically, he said that any experience that we have or any of these portals, they just give us glimpses into that which is beyond any of the portals, that which is call it awareness. He used a very poetic way to call it a uh, choiceless love. Choiceless the, love. The cornstone of awareness, he said, is cho choiceless, choiceless love. love. Is... So choiceless love is anything that breeds life into our mood, any movement in life, any breath we take. Any emotion we experience, feels, anything is choiceless just, love. Choiceless. This little crack into the matrix that gives us a glimpse of the, of the, that. <laughs> so here at Sen, we have many portals. We have an oh, yeah. amazing lineup of speakers. Incredible so. speaker experience, presenters, art pieces. But let, the point is, let's be aware that all these portals are just portals. Each and every one of us will experience this week in a, diff in a slightly different way, and each of and every one of these experiences is absolutely perfectly perfect. Each, each and every one, every one of these experiences is a little door into the choiceless love. 
And let's just remember, we're not going to solve the mystery of life here. Sorry. But what we can do together is and celebrate it. And if we don't solve it. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are not going to solve the mystery of life in here. The only thing we really have is an amazing amount of incredible human beings, which is each and every one of you, with incredible mind, incredible heart, and this incredible desire to understand. And this beauty that brings, seems to bring is this ability not to fall into dogma. Each and every one of us has believed, but we like to believe here in this place for this week that we let this belief drop and be willing and open to listen and to have a smile and a dance and a glass of wine with the person next to us if they're over 18. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's enjoy the journey yes. and each other. And yeah, this is your conference. This is, your, this is our life and this is your conference. And without you, really, really, and it's not a metaphorical, Meaning, without you, this conference will not exist. So thank you thank for you. being here. Thank, thank you so you. much.